Hey everybody, this is Chris the Otaku here back with another unboxing. Today I have a package from, as you can see, Bright Stuff. This year, this is one of my uh, pack, one of my items that I pre-ordered a few months ago, and it finally did it finally did ship out. So I did get this early, and without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Um, by the time I upload this, I know I'll have two other video. I'll have another anime unboxing that I already like uploaded already and I also would have a manga unboxing uploaded already to this cha uh, to the channel so this is from the past I well for me it's the for you guys it's now but for me this is the past yeah this is my um this is a pre-order from Sentai Filmworks and as you can see it is a collector's edition this is one of the five items that I pre-ordered that were supposed to be released in September, but you know how Sentai Filmworks does when they get their stuff in. Always comes a month early, but I'm going to, I know you probably have so seen it as I took it out of the packaging, but my favorite part is the advertisements for some reason. I always like these when people show these off. And this is another Sentai Filmworks title right here. This is, um, no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm sorry. This is actually an Izomi Entertainment uh, advertisement. This is the Umi Monogatari. And back, this is for the advertisement for Mobile Suit Gundam. They have, Right Stuff has the Blu-ray rights to Gundam. And the second advertisement, yeah, more advertisements. I have Reinhilder in the Darkness. This is a Sentai Film title as well. This is actually going to be a dub. I think this is a horror anime. I'm not really sure. I have another one as well. And as my third advertisement, this is what I'll be unboxing today. This is the, the Persona 4, the animation box set. As you can see, this is the collector's edition from Sentai Filmworks. As you know, Sentai, is Sentai Filmworks has finally gotten into doing collector's editions for their um, animes. I mean, the animes, their their shows, their titles. Um, this is this is probably this is the f the second series that they went back into their selection and created a collector's edition. Their first one was you know High School of the Dead. They made that into a collector's edition, and you know as all the other collector's editions they released, they were all. They're all brand new series that they acquired the licensing to, so they weren't like released earlier like in the standard DVD and Blu-ray cases like they did before. But this is again, this is um, the collector's edition. Here's the front. I don't really know the characters. I never played Persona, and I never actually watched the anime. Um, I know this is again, this is Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Spine. And here is the back. Um, this this is actually. Again, Blu-ray TV combo. Uh, you can get this as a standard edition. Again, this is just a collector's edition release. So they had released this in 2012, the Blu-ray and DVD. Again, this is a Region A for Blu-ray, and this is a Region 1 for DVD. Um, 670 minutes, then 24 episodes altogether. And this comes with um, English DTS HD Audio Master, uh, Master Audio 2.0, sitting with Japanese GTA, DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, and there's Japanese commentary I know for all the episodes, so that comes at 2.0. Um, this is 16x9, 1080p, high definition. And this is and for DVD, 40 i 16x9, and then Dolby Digital 2.0, Japanese Dolby Digital 2.0. And this is a TV14. Um, this is, again, Region 1 and Region A. The only thing that's probably new with this set, um, I know for the Blu-ray release for Persona, like the standard edition Blu-ray, there was a licensing issue in regards to the Blu-ray, so like the Blu-ray is only dubbed only, there is no Japanese audio, while the DVD set has Japanese and English audio. But if you buy the collector's edition for Persona 4, this comes with the Japanese audio and the English audio for the Blu-rays. So that is the only new thing. I mean, you know, the typical, I guess you could say, you know, typical Sentai Filmworks collector's editions, they're gonna come with, you know, I know this comes with postcards, comes with, I think a poster as well. I'm not entirely 100% sure. 
But yeah, I, I appeared this a couple months ago. I saw clips of the Persona 4 animation. It looked really good. It looked interesting. I had a coworker who played the game. So, oh yeah, and here's the top. Um, I know that there is another season of Persona 4 called the Golden Anim the Golden Animation or the Golden Arc, but that is licensed by Anaplex of America, and that's already been released too by them. So it's not like Sentai can get the acquisition rights to it, and that is subbed only. But I know this is this came out in 2011, and Japan and licensed in 2012. This is a chipboard box, really sturdy. It's different from No Game No Life, like, um, you know No Game No Life had like a texture to it. It's same thing with Shinibio, standard chipboard box with, um, you know, wrapping around it. Again, I said this, this is a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. These are the Blu-rays. I don't know any of the characters like I do with most of the, uh, most of the anime that I buy. I don't really know the characters' names, don't really know the setting of the story. And if you hear a doorbell, please do ignore that. Again, here's the front. Here's the spine. This is four Blu-rays all together. Blu-ray one, with episodes one to nine. Blu-ray number two with 10 to 18. Blu-ray number three with 19 to 26. And the fourth Blu-ray has special features, which is interesting. I don't even know what type of special features. And here's some artwork. And these are the DVDs. This is six DVDs all together. Here's the front, spine, and the back. It's pretty interesting how it had six. It has six DVDs all together. And here is disc one, episodes one to three. Disc two, episodes four to eight. Disc three, nine to twelve. Thirteen to thirteen to. Oh, I'm sorry. Fourteen to eighteen on disc three. Four, I'm sorry. God, I don't know my numbers. Then 19 to 23 on disc five. And this number, disc six, comes with 24 to 26. And there is some artwork on the back as well. This is actually a nice, I really hope they do this for, um, I know a lot of people, especially me, Really hoping that Sentai Filmworks do release a collector's edition for Clanod and Clanod After Story. But if they do release that, like this is a 25 episode series and Clanod ultimately altogether is 53 episodes, including OVAs. If they release that series, honestly, it's gonna be eight Blu-ray discs and 12 DVDs. That's gonna, I'm assuming if they do make that release, it's gonna be over $200. That's just my assumption, because again, that's really it is really expensive. Because you think about it, like this was maybe set, this is seventy five. This is seventy five dollars if you have the Got Anime package. But I pre-ordered this, so again, let's talk about the future here. Here is the filler box, and we'll be opening up the contents inside. Um, with the contents of this filler box, it comes with. Eight tarot cards. It comes with a Persona 4 eyeglass cleaning cloth, and I know it comes with a sticker set and a pin set as well. This set is right here. No, but um. And also, what's interesting about the set was um, it took a while for Sentai Filmworks to even like show images of it. But this set is a little bit disappointing, like compared to like Chinibio and like No Game No Life. Like, you know, No Game No Life is like the same price, but like you got so much more cooler items, like an authenticity card and so forth. But uh, here's the first item. These are a pin set. Um, I know these have references to the anime, but I read, you know, I never watched the anime. These are uh, Chi buttons. I guess this is the character Chi. Comes with three pins. Three buttons, whatever, however, however you want to say it. And then again, this comes with eight tarot cards. But if you do want to purchase this set, um, I purchased this when I pre-ordered it. I paid seventy-three dollars, seventy-three or seventy-five dollars. That was the pre-order price I pre-ordered like four months ago. Right now, you could get it with a Got Anime purchase, a Got Anime membership with eighty to eighty-two dollars, I believe. Don't rely on my assumption, but. Um, 
These are the tarot cards. I like the art. It's rather simplistic, but nice. I like the geometric... It's like it's like a geometric art. I don't know. I've never been to a psychic either, so... I don't know what... I don't really know the significance. I mean, I know what tarot cards are, but I don't know, like, you know, the symbolic meaning of each individual tarot, tarot card. But, um, I get... I, I am a little disappointed with this set, you know? I was gonna cancel this pre-order, actually. Because, um, mainly because it was just like a, to me, it's like a, it's not, I guess it's not a, board, it's like, it's not even a, it's a little bit of a borderline bare bones set. Like, I feel like that Sentai Filmworks did step back a little bit, like, but High School of the Dead, it was pretty much a bare bones collector's edition, but then they improved gradually when they released Chinibio, No Game, No Life, um, even Knights of Sidonia was pretty nice, and they didn't even have the... They didn't even have the rights to it, they just had the home release rights. Sorry guys, I had to cut the video there. Um, I was just waiting for my sister to shut up because she was being really loud. Um, so I didn't want you guys to hear that. But uh, the last two items we have, um, this is a sticker set, it's four stickers. Yeah, nothing really special. And this is a eyeglass cleaning cloth that says Persona 4, the animation. And that's really it in regards to you know, collector, collector's items. I mean, there's really nothing to it, but I'm gonna put this here in the filler box. This was supposed to come out September 29th, and the day I'm unboxing it now, it is September 1st. So I did get this in it, a month early, because it, it shipped out the 28th of August, and I got it the 1st. So it's, it is technically, it's been a month. But, um, that is really it for this unboxing. Again, as I did say, I, I mean, I've never seen the series. I've heard very positive things about it. I mean, I know it's based off a popular video game franchise series. I know, here's the top as well. But I know it's based off a popular video game franchise. Um, I'm a little disappointed in regards to, you know, yeah, it's like, it's sort of a bare bones collector's edition. Like, the extras aren't that amazing. It's just, you know, you got your reversible cover, you got your Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and you got some cool little extras, but honestly, like, you know, No Game, No Life was a nice collector's edition, you know, because it had the, had the soundtrack, it had cool little, like, authenticity card, the Shinibio one was cool because it had a keychain, had the wallet chain, it had the eye patch, it was just a nicer collector's edition, like, and also like, I'm really excited for the Beyond the Boundary set when that comes out, but uh, that's really everything for this video, thank you so much for watching it, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, um, I will probably be doing, my next unboxing will be my full complete September haul, which consists of Tokyo Ghoul, Sword Art Online, Free Eternal Summer, and I think a couple, I think maybe one additional item, I'm not 100% sure. But that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.